What's up everybody, my name's Shantz and today we're going to be playing another singleton deck. Now I know I told one of you guys that uh, I was going to be playing a Rakdos Rats deck and it's somewhere. Here's the Rakdos Rats deck but today we're going to be playing a Demir Rats singleton deck. Alrighty, and getting right into uh, breaking it down, and I don't mean disco style. <clears throat> we have 21 rat colonies in the deck, starting us out. Um, I feel like 21 should be fine. That's a lot, but uh, you know, ideally you'll draw other cards than just rat colonies. And sometimes you can win just solely off drawing rat colonies if your opponent uh, sort of draws shittily or doesn't draw. Uh, well, I guess just shittily describes it best. Anyways, moving into our cards, we have Arcane Flight to sort of help our rats get past any early defenses. Dive down to protect our rats. Uh, Aether Tunnel actually makes one of them unblockable, so that's really good. Charter Course is for the card draw. Ghost Form, again, makes them unblockable. Pass Wall, unblockable. And then finally, we have Tetsuku. Tet Tetsuko? We have the Fugitive card, <laughs> the legendary creature, uh, creatures you control with power or toughness of one or less can't be blocked, so that works really well with the uh, rat colonies. Um, sort of counteracts with Vanquisher's Banner, but if we have Vanquisher's Banner out uh, for the rat colonies, then we shouldn't really have a problem with attacking, so nonetheless, Tetsu Oko, Tetsu Oko, Tetsu Oko, Tetsu Oko, whatever, the Fugitive. <laughs> Um, if we have her out, then we can attack unblockably, um, and if we have Vanquisher's Banner out, then every time we play a Rat Colony, then we draw a card. So, sort of counteractive there. I've been thinking about taking out Vanquisher's Banner and uh, just leaving in their Mortal Sun and Helm of the Host. But Vanquisher's Banner with Helm of the Host has a really cool combination, so maybe these belong in a Rakdos Singleton Rats deck. Um, maybe I should just go with the Immortal Sun here. I don't know. I go back and forth on it. Nonetheless, moving down to our lands, we have one Memorial to Genius to draw just in case. We can sacrifice it for five mana. Uh, Memorial to Folly as well. And then, of course, we only have one of the land gate that adds blue or black and one of the simple lands that adds blue or black. Unclaimed territory as we are playing 21 rats, so it's pretty easy to see why we'd run that. And honestly, I think we're going to cut out one of the swamps. So we don't need 24 land in this, so we're going to go up to 22 rat colonies, I think. Nonetheless, this is going to be our uh, our Demir Singleton Rats deck, and we're going to hop right in. I have already started one. We're up to 3-0, and so maybe we can finish this one out 5-0, and and then start another one for the third game. But you guys know I'm sort of cursed when it comes to three wins in Magic Offense. Oh. <sighs> I can go 3-0, and but after that I tend to lose two in a row, so hopefully we will break that streak today. And I probably will still show off the Rakdos Rats deck, um, just not quite sure when that might be, either today or tomorrow. I've been putting up, up uh, uploads around midnight, 1 a.m., and that's more for the... Ooh, this is a terrible hand. <laughs> Absolutely awful. That's a little bit better. Um, we're gonna keep the cast down just in case. If they have first strike, it's really shitty against a rat deck, actually, so we're going up against a green deck, so they probably won't have, uh, first strike. Nonetheless, like I was saying, I've been trying to put up videos sort of late, and that's more for the, uh, people that stay up late, so they can have something new to watch there at night. Um, we'll go ahead and play the swamp in a rat colony, and get these, get these rats rolling. We can play Charter Course next turn. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have a uh, an island card quite yet. Splendid Griffin. Interesting. There's our Mortal Sun. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything with it. We can go ahead and get down another Rat Colony, though. And if he chooses to trade off, that's fine in my eyes. I want to save Cast Down probably for a little bit bigger creature than their then Resplendent Griffin. Of course, if he gets the Ascension out... Okay, yeah. We can't 
cast down a Gore Claw either, unfortunately. But I highly doubt he'll trade a Gore Claw for a Rat Colony, so I feel perfectly fine still swinging in with both Rat Colonies here. And even if he does, that's that's a worthwhile trade on our end. So he's down to nine. Let's see, no hide, no hide, Ferox. Pretty good card. If we can draw land, though, I think we can still end him just based off cast down and playing a rat colony. So we're looking for a uh, looking for a swamp or an island, anything of the sorts. Divination is not going to be it. So we'll play our rat colony and wait, I guess. We really needed a land that turn. If we had drawn a land, we would have just obviously cast down the griffin and attacked. Um, actually, still wouldn't have been enough, so. Perfectly fine, though. The only thing he can really attack with is Nolhod here and the griffin, but if he does that, then we have lethal next turn. Still leaf we can cast down. There's an island, so that's actually really good. We are going to go ahead and cast down the still leaf. Hopefully he doesn't have any counterplay here. Okay. Now we do have four rats, but I think we're just gonna play chart of course before even attacking. One can get through. See what we can draw. Another swamp, an arcane flight. Um I think we get rid of the arcane flight. And yeah, it goes up to 6-2, but he has a resplendent griffin, so he's definitely going to block. And it's not like we have another cast down to deal with the griffin, so... And one more land, and we have the Immortal Sun, which will make our creatures that much stronger. And we'll draw more cards each turn, as well as them all cast or costing less, so... We'll just wait and see. I don't think we attack this turn. Even though, if we attack this turn, he loses his Gore Claw and resplendent griffin and I deal 5 damage to him if he blocks I think we do Score Claw gets a bonus whenever he attacks and we don't want that bonus to go through he should defend out with everything he has to otherwise it's lethal yeah so we deal 5 damage this turn we'll go down to 1 rat but he'll only have 1 creature on the board as well risky play do get a murder, we can murder the Nohod. We do have enough uh, in the way of land for that. I have my hand sort of backwards here. Straighten it out. Well, I don't know if he just hasn't hit accept or doesn't realize he needs to hit accept, but uh, yeah. Any day now. Alright, calling to go back down to two. Maybe we should have kept the arcane flight there. If we were gonna trade them all out. Of course Shalai would have blocked it anyways. We'll see. That could have been a mistake, but uh Okay, so we can actually play both Divination and Rat Colony. Ooh, Memorial to Genius means in two turns we have Immortal Sun and next turn we have Vanquisher's Banner. Don't wanna attack this turn. We might need to use a rat colony to defend his uh his no hide ferox this turn. I think it does have trample. No, no, it is not. That's good. <laughs> Hexproof from black. That's unfortunate. Also has first strike. Hmm, if he only talks with the Nohud, I think we just take the damage. No, we can't afford it, never mind. We got a block here. 
We won't even be able to get our Immortal Sun out. This is why I go back and forth on Vanquisher's Banner and Immortal Sun, whether they're worth actually having or if they actually cost too much for a rat deck. Because imagine if we had had two more rats, we could have won by now easily. So, you know, I go back and forth, but uh, guess we'll see. This guy really takes a long time to make his decisions, and it does irritate the hell out of me. Of course, I guess people taking long to make their decisions is why they don't make mistakes like I do, but, uh, you know, I believe efficiency is key. Price of fame. I mean, that gets rid of the Shala. Next turn we have Immortal Sun, but we can't play anything on top of Immortal Sun. I say we do it. Let's get rid of the Shala. We also get to surveil, so. Don't want Memorial to Folly. It comes in tapped, anyways. Our best bet is drawing. Uh, actually, I don't know. If he attacks with both creatures this next turn, I have to defend Nohad. He deals three. I can play Immortal Sun and play Rat Colony, or I can play Vanquisher's Banner, which would give us more card draw if we draw another Rat Colony after that Rat Colony. Oh, this is not shaping up too good. <clears throat> We're not going to attack. And we'll end our turn. I think we do block Nolhide here, though. So he's gonna do three. He has nine damage next turn. Why is he removing all of his abilities? Uh oh. Okay, that is unfortunate for us. That might be game, actually. Actually, it might have been game before that, because I play this, I can't play anything else. I play this, I can't play anything else. And next turn, he has damage regardless. I can play this, but I can't play anything else on top of it, so we're just, we're just sort of sitting duck. So I think we're going to go ahead and concede here. Uh, we'll move on to the next game. Because I feel like no matter what we drew in one to two turns, we were we were dead regardless. Uh, unless, like, some bizarre shit happens and he just quits or whatever. So nonetheless, first game is actually going to be a loss. Unfortunately, <laughs> seems like the curse is still staying strong with this. Getting to the 3-0 and then losing the next two. Although, hopefully that won't happen this game. Maybe we can pull out a victory. If we can find an opponent, that is. And uh, I actually had someone in the comment section asking about rats a lot. I think it was, his name is Tristar Hutch. Forgive me if I'm butchering your name. Um, but yeah, this is the Demir Singleton deck. I figured I'd make it a little bit different as, uh, as I don't actually have all copies of The Fugitive yet. Uh, it's a decent starter. We can equip Aether Tunnel. Um... Although we can't play a rat colony till turn three, unfortunately, because we got both the guild gate and the smurge boneyard in hand instead of anything else. Pelt collector could be very scary. There's another rat colony, which again can't play till turn three, and if we don't end up drawing more land, this could be a scary bad hand. Memorial to genius. Uh, not really what we were looking for, but it does mean that in two turns we can play two rat colonies, so I guess that's uh, that's a bonus there. And again, Aether Tunnel on one of our rat colonies will be, uh, will be good. Pelt Collector unfortunately does go up to the 2-2. Two -two. If he tries to attack, I think we just take out the Pelt Collector.
Pop Collector is a card I don't really like to uh, fuck around with. As it can get beefy quick. So yeah, next turn we can play both of our rat colonies. And then probably our Tetsuko. Tetsuoko. Tet I don't know. Don't ask me. We'll go ahead and let the three damage go through. See what else he plays. Could play one rat colony in an aether tunnel, make him go up to a 4 1, and that's four unblockable damage. But I think it's uh, smarter to just play both un uh, both rat colonies in the next turn, the fugitive. Ooh. Okay, so he's gonna draw Vraska's Contempt next turn. Good attack, he'll probably trade out. We're gonna wait, and I'm gonna save the mana for a dive down. See what kind of cards he has up his sleeves. Lana War is not what I'm looking for. Play your Raska's Contempt so I can not feel bad about saving. Oh, I feel awful. <laughs> All right, let's play another Rat Colony. We actually can play Fugitive as well, so we can dive down still. Come on, play your... there it is. Alrighty, so got rid of that removal in the very least. Next turn we can deal 7 damage directly to him, 8 damage with uh, Aether Tunnel equipped. <clears throat> Ooh, Carnage Tyrant. That is actually a very scary card considering we don't have any more rat colonies in hand. Um, no blockers. Just sort of have to let that damage go through. Ooh. We can sleep him. does work on the Carnage Tyrant, so uh, yeah, we'll swing in with everything. Save an Aether Tunnel so he doesn't know we have lethal next turn. I don't want him to, uh, to try and take out anything simply because he thinks we have lethal. If he has a Rabid Bite or some... Well, Rabid Bite's an instant card anyway, so that still work. But he just spent all of his mana on a Zoni, so that's actually game. Good game, and we broke our streak going up to uh, four and one in the singleton, and one and one in the series for this uh, little three o or three three game series that I do for each of my decks. So yeah, that actually worked out pretty well there. You guys can see the strength of the rat decks. I'm sure you already have if you've been playing literally any game mode. I'm sure you've ran into them at some point. They're right up there with the. Uh, the annoyance of Merfolk. Especially in Singleton. Ah, I hate Singleton rats. Hate playing against them. Um pretty fun to play, I gotta say. But there's there's a lot of decks like that in Magic that I'm like, ah, I absolutely hate playing against this deck. Jeska, hate that shit. All the Jeska controls. They just they just rain on everything you try to play. Um, this isn't the best opener, but we are gonna keep it. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's just some decks that just aren't fun to play against. Everyone probably wants to play against some some green variation deck. Um, we actually can go ahead and play Zalfirian for it. Zalfirian Void here. And I think we just keep that Rat Colony, too. As uh, turn four, we'll be able to play two out. Looks like we're up against this Lesnia deck so far. 
Also, from now on, whenever I say the uh, the color combination names, I'll try and tell you guys. <laughs> okay, so there's the surrender just off the bat, making it a quick, super quick game three. Saw the rats and decided, no sir, not uh, not doing it. So we do go to a five and one with this deck in Singleton, which is uh, pretty great. We won our money back plus some. And the reason I'm actually playing Singleton again and playing it some more, Desecrated Tunes, I think we already have four of those. Um, it's because the Singleton Challenge is coming up. For those of you who don't know, this actually looks like a really, really fun event and a good way to earn a lot of money. Um, or sort of in-game money, I guess. In-game value, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it costs 1,500 gold or 300 gems. Either way, um, at one victory, you win half your money back plus two cards. Two victories, 1,000. Um, three victories, you do level out as well as winning the two cards. Um, four victories, you win 400 gold as well as two cards which is already there pretty good um, but moving on up at five victories you win 600 gold and a dominaria pack six wins you get 2300 which is an extra 800 gold plus two packs which is huge value and finally at seven wins you win a uh, thousand extra gold which is a pack and three free packs so essentially four packs there so I figured I'd go ahead and start making some singleton decks and see see what we could do um, nonetheless probably just going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. I know it was a rather quick one, but you guys have all seen the rats, so rather than go ahead and playing out a uh, a whole another one, if I can find this deck, I'm going to go back through and explain sort of why I chose to go with this and uh, how you would sort of do a Rakdos deck. I'll go through that and then I might play... Well, I'll probably just save that for another video. Nonetheless, um, Arcane Flight, like I said, in Singleton, um, the decks tend to be a little bit slower, unless they're specifically focused on aggro, like the rats, like, uh, you could do a Boros or a Selesnia, but past that, going aggro in Singleton is really rather difficult, because a lot of, a lot of color combinations don't really play w too well into it. Um, uh, maybe Sapporlings, maybe, um, nonetheless, moving on, Dive Down, all these cards are just focused on getting either one your attacks with your rats through or two keeping your rats alive as it's singleton so you don't have to worry about four copies of shock you don't have to worry about four copies of lightning strike you have to worry about one you gotta worry about maybe maybe three four removals throughout you know the course of it so if you can survive that if your rats can deal in a little bit of damage then typically you can swing in towards the end to uh to finish them off so nonetheless, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I will probably end up doing the Singleton Challenge. Honestly, I don't know if I'll do it with a Rat deck or a Merfolk, uh, Merfolk Rush deck because I feel like you could do a Singleton Merfolk Rush deck pretty well as well. But uh, I'll probably do a Singleton Challenge for those of you interested. Um, what It comes out in, what, 20 hours? So probably tomorrow, probably get one out. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Comment in the comment section for any suggestions or deck ideas or play strategy or, you know, if you just want to tell me about your day. Hell, I don't care. Um, and, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.